Hello, everybody. Welcome back to XCOM Ch Chimera Squad. I remember the name of it. We've been doing a little bit of prep here at the base, and I want to walk you guys through it really fast. We have two promotions ready. One for the medic. This is her second promotion. So if terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, she instead is reduced to one HP and immediately enters stasis for one turn. One use permission or pin down. Terminal shoots non damaging suppressed fire to target to push their turn down the timeline. And has a two turn cooldown. Push their turn down the timeline. I like that option rather than just assuming I'm going to die. I like anything that allows me to manipulate how the flow of combat. So we'll go with that. And for our blue blood. Our actual cold-blooded killer who uses tranquilizing shots, he fires his launcher pistol at a target, ignoring all cover bonuses. He just became even better. Even better, dude. I suppose we should point out that Snack is our favorite character. Snack's doing some shit, dude. Snack is crazy, all right? Snack's also going to train to become even better. So we're going to have to go two missions without our boy Snack, without our girl Snack. But uh, I think I think it'll be worth. We also need to we need to signify that Snack is ranking up, so we need to change their outfit color. That's really important. Oh my god, I'm clicking everywhere but where I need to click. There! Tent armor. Snack's going from this blue to a slightly no, I feel like, okay, now we got to change everyone's color. You're on house arrest. You're helping us upgrade stuff. I think I'm going to put the tank on house arrest after, but the tank's in. He's no longer healing, so he goes back to blue. You're this blue. Our blue ranking is going to be lighter and lighter and lighter. That's how you know they're ranking up. Okay. Okay. So, with out further ado, I suppose I should actually show you what we did on the map. We did hire one more intelligence squad. Every single one of these areas. Ancient Wisdom, thank you for five gifted subs. How's the game? It's great. I've been playing it for four hours and I've barely noticed. So the each area can assign a free agent to it. And I think you're supposed to balance these out like finance and security and technology and stuff. They all give different things. The point is, every Friday, you get a bonus based on who you scattered out. I'm going all in on security. This might be stupid as fuck. This is my first XCOM game. I'm just trying shit out. I'm going everyone on security so I can continue to get more and more of the intel, which is used to buy other things. So I'm going to max out intel and then swap these guys to other shit later on. This was my idea for, like, fast-tracking upgrades. I don't know if it'll work. We, you know, it still remains to be seen. We have some blue missions here. Bad Operators gives us Illyrium. Um, Contact Scavenger Market is going to give us, I think, weapon equipment pieces. And this is going to give us some money. Uh, we're kind of low on everything. So uh, let's just go for pieces. The Scavenger Market is like XCOM Supply, but the items it offers are a lot rarer and more powerful. The market is available for one day at a time and only after completing a mission. All right, go ahead. And we'll automatically advance the day. Okay, so we're moving one day in the future. We unlocked. Godmother has completed it, okay. Now it's Saturday. We have an Over idle agent. were injured today before 3-1 PD could break up protesters clashing outside the starport. Commissioner Maloof condemned the fighting. Of course, protesters should speak their minds. We won a war for that privilege. But 3-1 PD will not tolerate violent protest. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. If 3-1 PD can or will not protect us, we will protect ourselves. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. Dope. So that was Saturday done. Uh, our main objective is the one that has four days left on it in the middle of the screen. However, 
In order to do this main objective, we have to learn more about our target before we're able to initiate on it. We could go for more intelligence here, but then this mission would go away. And this feels like something that I should move in on. This seems like something that I should attack. 31 PD suspected Great Phoenix had compromised a server in city archives. They confirm it when a Great Phoenix team moved in to destroy the evidence. Stop them before they do. This is classified as a difficult mission. And just as a reminder, we do not have snack. Scavenger market is open, but not visit. Wait, didn't I just do that? Wait, do I skip? Hello, Chimera <clears throat> Squad. I'm the proprietor of the Viper's Nest, a humble establishment in the fringe. As I'm sure you know, dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up from time to time. The city pays well to anyone who turns it over, so I hire a network of scavengers to find the stuff. Oh, and I occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you. If I do, I'll be in touch. So I can buy an advanced scope. Oh, this all costs intel. Perfect for us. Quick question. Can I equip two hair triggers to our guy that can shoot twice? Because that gives him a 20% chance to be able to fire a third time per turn. If they're not unique. If it is unique, I don't give a shit. I'm not interested. Chat, could you fill me in on that? It's also 70 fucking five intel. Uh, this weapon upgrade will add an aim bonus to any weapon it's attached to. Chat says I cannot stack them. So for 50 intel, we're going to invest in the advanced scope. And that's it. And now we're going to go to the armory. And we're going to upgrade our boy. Utility. No, 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 not hair trigger. Advanced scope. So he's more accurate and has a chance to fire again. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, is there anything else I actually need to do? This is, should be going. Why is it telling me that I need to pay attention to it? She's in there. She's doing it. Snacks on house arrest. She's on house arrest. And everyone else is slotted into a mission. Let's go. Send an APC. Put me in, coach. I guess I could have done this here. We have a breach. We have a heal. A heal and a breach. Let's give this guy a heal. I think we still have extra sitting around. Utility, perfect. And then... Uh, I guess you could use a heal as well. I don't know, that would be a breach. Should I buy a breach item for him? We probably don't need three. Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, Snake! Keep the place clean! It's part of your training! Gray Phoenix is attempting to wipe a server in the city archives. Find out what they're trying to erase. Breach! Oh, we can hack it? Let's send in the healer and Virgil here. And then at the main door, blue. No, not blue first. Tank first, followed by blue. Let's go. Open sesame. Get in there, dude! Oh shit! I'll pop the lock. <laughs> Fucking guns just point right at you when you walk in. Okay. All right. So what do we got? We have four guys. Two of them behind doors. One's faceless, and that guy's there. Great. We should probably hit the one that's on the same side as us. It's gonna be him. Piece it. How is this a 100% chance to hit? Excuse me? You're telling me that's a hundred? But this is a six, we take the 69. Nice. What does this do? What does this do? What does this do? Phalanx. Oh, I can make people focus me. It's only while we're breaching though. Maybe we do that on the faceless? This guy will die. Oh, I didn't even know he existed. Oh, 69, we take it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a piece of shit. 
Fire a Lancel Pistol at the target, ignoring all cover bonuses. I mean, what if we just shot that guy? Nice. Okay, we're in play. Remember, anyone we kill with blue blood gets the kill and the train, the and it, they're not actually killed. So we need to focus on that. God, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, there's a shit ton of enemies. Our positioning is terrible. Whose the fucking idea was this? Whose idea was this bullshit? Okay, what if you, like, literally just ran over here? Do we hate that? Oh. <laughs> I was just talking about this. I was just talking about this, like, yesterday. The di like last week, I love it when developers put their themselves in their games, or what I assume are developers, just like a nice boy hanging out on a fucking on a shelf. He's like, "Hey, all right, here's the plan. I got the plan. We're gonna run back here. All right, watch this shit. That was my double move. That's okay." Mind control. Well, this was the original plan. Wait, how, how does this work? Do I have to kill the guy? We move blue blood up. Yes. That was the original plan. And now I'm thinking we move back to maybe... What does red mean for the cover? Doesn't that mean it's bad cover? But it's a wall, so wouldn't that just block anything? Oh, is it bad cover because two people would have line of sight on it? Is that what makes it bad cover? I mean, someone has a flank. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So we'll move here. We'll fucking stun... I don't know, do we actually stun our healer? I don't know. I'm really hesitant to even do mind control stuff. So let's say I battle madness him. What if he shoots my healer? All right, time to clean up, dude. Let's go, let's go. And the mind control. Yes. Great, 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 great. And we captured him. That's everything we wanted. Now, what if you... I was going to move him, but I guess he has to stand here. Come on, Deadeye! Yes! Oh, that's the first time Deadeye's hit. Fuck yeah, dude. And then we do an Overwatch this way, which was my plan the entire time! <laughs> oh no oh please don't hit him okay we're gonna give a a good old kinetic shield to verge over here he's gonna be fine don't even worry about verge don't you even worry about verge and yeah let's try to hit this guy 73 percent chance fuck yeah my dude Oh, 
Oh, he's not even moving forward. He's scared. The tongue mist. Oh, thank God for that. That was a long tongue. Okay, you heal Verge, please. Safeguard. Let's get your insides back inside. Refreshing. Okay, then the faceless moves fifth in the turn order, which means this guy over here is next. So I'm just gonna kind of overwatch towards towards that window. Got you covered. That's the plan. We are counting on you. So if he moves up, he's gonna get shot. Did he just tell the? You are taking some ballsy ass shots, my dude. There's no way you land those shots. Okay, we mind control him. Battle madness. We don't need to move, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. Beautiful. Then we're gonna stun that guy that he just shot. Hopefully two, two stuns. It was, so he can't do anything next turn. He's been dealt with. And then, we just focus the faceless guy with our highest damage target. Hey, bud! Get captured. All right. Uh, move up to here. Or maybe I just take the other shot. I mean, even if it has a chance to miss, it's still a chance to hit, too. Oh, my God. Who is this guy? Who is he? The best goddamn fucking thing I've ever seen! That's what he is! He's no snack, but he's close. He's a close snack. Alright, we'll start repositioning for this last guy. Berserk has been removed. Demolition. Too bad he can't land anything. Okay, move up. Crossing over. Maybe this was the call. Maybe I go into cover here instead. I think I can still shoot. I'm nearly dry. Nah, dude, you gotta just fucking land it. Ah. All right, reload. Back in action. Yeah, it landed though. <laughs> Wait, that was my tank. Okay. So we just need to go get this. Into the action. Swift and steady. Go get it. Go get it, Bridge. Pretty, bud. Oh my god. Oh my god. That felt good. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this game. Two days towards our operation reveal. Negative two unrest in the fringe district. 40 credits and 20 intel because we knocked out so many guys. Unrest in the fringe has lowered to zero. To zero. Tensions Train. at the starport increased today as muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League bristled at the suggestion. These are tools for fixing starships. They are spiritual implements, not weapons. A leaked video from Earth Above All seemed to urge escalation. If they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. More on this story as it develops. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. All right, great. Snack is done with his training. But you know what I'm thinking? What if we just put Snack? Oh! Uh, but I was gonna train him some more! Wait, what if we take out Blue Blood, put him on house arrest, okay? Okay? We fucking take Snack off of house arrest. Wait, did we already. We already moved up Snack's color. We don't need to do it again. He went from this to this. There we go. Beautiful. So Snack's been upgraded. He has the color to show it. Just barely. I can barely notice the difference between these. Uh, he has plus 20 aim. That's ridiculous. 
That is ridiculous. Then, so Snack's good to go. This guy goes into the training chamber, the hyperbolic time chamber. He's going to become the biggest lean, mean killer machine I've ever seen in my entire life. Reassign. God, he's so good. He also has all of our items. We should probably be mindful of that. Then we put Snack back on the team. She's ended. Snack and maybe I removed the medic on accident. We still have, I what is her name? Godmother over on, she's doing stuff. She's important. Two turns, you're gonna be good to go. Okay, what do we wanna do here? Probably nothing, I think I'm chilling. I think I'm chilling. Should we buy some better armor for our dudes or something? Grants 50 dodge, grants one HP. How much is this? 65, I could only buy one. Mm. I couldn't do much with it. And we did get a promotion for our tank. Uh, Sheriff grants one charge at the end of each encounter. I don't know what that means. At the end of your turn, gain one armor, a half cover bonus, even if flanked, and become half covered for friendlies. So he gains, he gains cover no matter where he is. That seems good. I actually don't know what generator does. So I'm just going to go with the one that I understand. Okay. I feel good about that. I feel good about that. All right. What's the next mission? It's the last day. Shit. Or one more day. I still can't do it. We got a smuggler for more intel. I'm in on the smuggler. We can't do any of these yet. 31 PD has been unable to dismantle an Illyrium smuggling ring in the city. If we help locate one of the safe houses, 31 PD will turn over the impounded contents to us. Unrest in downtown has risen to three. The high quality of Grey Phoenix leadership is what keeps their people loyal. Disrupt their chain of command. Without leaders, their lower ranks will be more willing to talk. Okay. Okay. Can I actually do this mission? Five years have passed since the end of Advent's occupation. Life is vastly different for all of us. Human, alien, and hybrid alike. Where do we go from here? Are we capable of surmounting the many challenges before us? We'll explore these questions with a new program we call Profiles of Restoration. Each episode follows a person working to rebuild the planet and beyond. Give us a watch or a listen. We want to show you the world. I'm going to do this mission. It's categorized as very hard in the next episode. I might put these out daily because like this was a 20 minute video. Just fucking, I don't want to make you guys wait two days for that.